Hello again. Welcome to Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English. Today, making polite requests using can or could, may and might. For example, can I have another cup of tea, please? Or could I have another cup of tea, please? Or may I have another cup of tea, please? Or might I have another cup of tea, please? Which one do you choose? When do you use it? How do you use it? First of all, listen to the intonation. Can I have a cup of tea, please? Little, 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 little. It's the same intonation for all four polite requests. However, they each have their own degree of formality. So which one do you use in which situation? With family and friends, you're most likely to use can. It's very informal. Can I have another cup of tea, please? However, to make it a little more formal, perhaps with acquaintances or if you're in the coffee shop, with people that you don't really know or have met once or twice, you can use could. Could I have another cup of tea, please? It's slightly more polite, slightly more distant. May I have another cup of tea, please, is much more formal. You could use that in a business meeting or something like that. May I have another cup of tea, please? Might is even more formal. Perhaps if you're meeting the Prime Minister or the Queen or it's a very important business meeting. Uh, might I have another cup of tea, please? You're using a past form because it makes it a little more distant. It's more distant than may. Could is more distant than might. Use a past form because it puts it in the distance, because the past is in the distance, which is why we use a past form to make the sentence more polite. So, can I have a cup of tea, please? Could I have a cup of tea, please? May I have a cup of tea, please? And might I have a cup of tea, please? Four different ways to make polite requests in English. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English. Bye bye for now.